This week's Daiquiri of the week is courtesy of Gordon, uh, all the way down in Australia. Thank you very much for sending me this through. I feel, like, I feel a bit guilty. I feel like I'm treading on STB 2.0's terms, toes, but he won't mind. He's got millions of subscribers. He can just like share a few for me, can't he? Hello, Stevie. Hope you're well. So Gordon has sent me through what I would kind of call more of a pineapple cocktail than a daiquiri. But I'm so looking forward to trying it. I really, really am. It's proper pineapple forward. And uh, he's also given me the impetus to go out and buy an ingredient that I've wanted for a very long time, but never had the need to go out and get them. Now, these are Diffords, uh, Bob's Diffords Daiquiri Bitters. Now, what these are is Difford, Simon Difford, Difford's Guide, Simon Difford, like the guru for what I would call classic cocktails. I don't associate him with tiki cocktails. I think he, by his own admission, he won't go down that route anyway. Um, fun and fruity. That's not really Simon classic cocktails, like Savoy cocktail book. That is very much Simon Difford's sort of uh, playground, you know. Tiki cocktails, not so much, but classic wise. So he's got done a, a joint venture with um, Bob's Bitters to kind of create his perfect daiquiri bitters. And these are, what these essentially are, are pineapple forward with mint and root to give the bitterness. Now roots, how can I explain roots? It's really hard, but unless you, so like Sue's maybe, Sue's is like a gentian root liqueur. Uh, I say liqueur in the loosest possible sense because it's not that sweet. Um, you've got things like Campari, you've got things like Jägermeister, for example, lots of roots and herbs that they kind of make to use those, uh, to make give it those flavours, and that's what's in here. So pineapple forward with mint and root. Very different to the other pineapple bitters I use, which is star anise, which will kind of give it that anise, aniseed, perno kind of thing. So I'm really looking forward to trying these. Now what I've done, first and foremost, stereotypical, archetypal, light, clean, crisp, bright daiquiri. Uh, just gone in there. This will obviously, this is one daiquiri I've probably got there. So this is half, it's a quarter daiquiri, if you like, a quarter. Now, uh, the whole point of this, and, and Gordon, I'm not throwing shade at you at all here. I'm not like dismissing your cocktail straight away, but I'm gonna put it out there that four drops, so Gordon wants four drops in his end recipe. I don't think four drops are going to make that much difference in his recipe, personally speaking. I, I don't mean that in any disrespect at all. I, I'm just here to play at the moment because I've never used these bitters. So essentially, we've got quarter daiquiris. Lovely, light, clean, crisp, bright. It's a daiquiri I really want to taste. Absolutely delicious. Now, I'm going to put four drops into this. You, well, I'm going to start off with two. One, two. I just kind of want to see what that does. Not too much. No, not too much. So that's two drops in a quarter stereo, like archetypal daiquiri. So one, two, that's four drops gone in here. Because bitters are a funny thing, you don't know how much to use. Angostura is just a dash and a dash. Actually, if you do a dash of Angostura bitters, you like talking 12 to 16 drops. So four drops. There. Oh, now we're starting to change it very, very slightly. It's subtle hint of pineapple in there, subtle. So I'm gonna add two more. Right. Bearing in mind the volume's gone down, so you know, two drops, an extra two drops will probably be close to sort of three in a finished cocktail. Now it's coming through. So that's that's six drops in total. One, two, so hang on, stir again. And there it is. So, all right, the volume of that's gone down. So to, to kind of do this properly, uh, I'm gonna fill this up as I, as I did the others. So we've got, we've got that quarter daiquiri and I'm gonna do eight drops. Come on, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I think there's like one more. Yeah, it's probably probably one more of those left in there. So that's the ratios in that is probably like a full daiquiri. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that really, that really bounces through. So I would do, for a whole daiquiri, I'm doing 12, 16 drops of that easily in a whole daiquiri, easily. Oh, I like them. There's potential for a lot of fun for a daiquiri. Now that we've got the uh, the, the Bob's bitters, uh, daiquiri bitters out of the way, let's, let's go into Gordon's daiquiri of the week. So as I said, Gordon, please please don't think I'm throwing shade at you or anything like that. I'm, I'm generally not because people don't know how to interpret bitters, especially when we've got Angostura, which is a dash, and stuff like this, which, we, which is like a pipette. And you kind of have to do that balancing. A dash, as I said, a dash of those is literally 12, 13, 14 drops, okay? But all bitters are created differently. You know, the, the pungency of those might be different to those. So you've always got to play about, but I would say in a normal classic daiquiri, 12, 16 drops of that in a normal classic daiquiri, okay? That will kind of give you, for instance, if I'm doing a, if I'm doing a daiquiri with that, and these are nearly bottle kill here, but if I'm doing a daiquiri with those, I am at least doing sort of at least 16 drops in it to kind of bring that through. So let's crack on with this. So uh, I've got another bottle of pineapple, Stiggy's Fancy Pineapple here, uh, and I'm gonna talk through these ingredients as we go along here. Uh, Gordon, I want you to dive into the, the comments below and let us know your ingredients. What did you use for your pineapple daiquiri? He's just put pineapple rum. Uh, so I'm going 30 mil, one ounce of pineapple rum, which should be, oh, look at that, it's bang on the money. Bang on the money, maybe 31 mil. There we go. Bottle kill of that, that could go on the back there. Then he's put um, 30 mil, one ounce of a blended aged rum. Now my blender, I've done this very recently. I know I've got about 18, 19 blended aged rums behind me. I'd gone plantation Barbados just to keep it in the plantation sort of fanboy. I don't know what you've used. You could go on Appleton 8, could have gone Appleton 12, you could use El Dorado 8, El Dorado 12, El Dorado 15. You, you know, there's so many different rums you could have used. Let me know your favorite sort of a blended aged rum in the comments below. But 30 mil of that in there. Uh, that one. Yes. Right, pineapple liqueur. Um, now, pineapple liqueur in the UK, I think there's. Um, what's it, did Kuiper do a pineapple liqueur? I don't know of any other pineapple liqueurs in the UK, apart from gin liqueurs, like pineapple gin liqueurs in the UK. I generally don't know of any other pineapple liqueurs around the world. So let, again, let us know your brand. Gifard is a worldwide brand, so I'm assuming it's these, but I don't know. Uh, pineapple liqueur, third of an ounce, 10 mil of that, okay? 10 mil, so we've done that. Uh, we'll come back to, the, let's do the pineapple juice now. Now the reason I've got this out and not my Cornish Blue, is I like to labour a point. You know me, I, I do love labouring a point. In the UK, because this doesn't translate around the world, but in the UK we are very fortunate enough to get 100% pressed pineapple juice. Doesn't matter what supermarket you go to, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Aldi, Asda, Morrison's, it doesn't matter. If you go down the juice aisle, the fresh juice aisle, all these bottles are 100% pressed. All that's in there is six pineapples pressed down. In the US, when they write cocktail, men uh, cocktail menus, it's unsweetened pineapple juice. We don't get sweetened and unsweetened in the UK. We get concentrate and we get pressed. The concentrate stuff is the one liter Tetra packs, the, the, car the cartons, and what that will essentially be, the concentrate is essentially puree, frozen down, shipped, and then diluted with water and put in there with some loads of other ingredients to make it long life and shelf stable, okay? So concentrate stuff, I will always, always urge you to use pressed in these fresh bottles. It's what it is. I'm appreciative that the US don't get this. The US, look at me, I do get some funny comments and use, oh, use proper pineapple juice. This is. This is far better than most pineapple products around the world. It's just six pineapples pressed down and every supermarket in the UK sells it. So, laboring a point, there we go, uh, 30 mil, one ounce of pressed pineapple juice. 
in there. Uh, so we've done that a little bit for the bar top. Look, rich, simple syrup, two to one syrup. Uh, this is Monin's, but it's essentially a two to one syrup. And we want a third of an ounce again, so 10 mil of that. There we go. Uh, right now, so we want some lime juice, half an ounce of lime juice, so 15 mil of lime juice, one five. That's there. Right, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We've done, like, I think we've done everything. Pineapple rum, yeah, check. Blended rum, check. Pineapple juice, check. Lime juice, check. Pineapple liqueur, check. Rich simple syrup, check. Four drops of Difford's pineapple bitters. Four drops. One, two, three, four. Right, this is gonna be one hell of a pineapple forward daiquiri. I'm looking forward to this. Ice and shake, that's what we're gonna do now. Gordon, you've been treated to the five-star treatment. Look at that frozen ice, uh, frozen coupe or daiquiri glass, whatever you want, uh, come out of the freezer. Look at that, it's proper, nice and cold. A little bit around there. Double strain. Not sure, not sure this is gonna overfill this glass as well. Large glass, oh, nice and frothy. I love that sort of consistency, that texture, that little bit of juice, pineapple juice in there. So is this, a, a true daiquiri kind of thing? No, but is this gonna be a fun daiquiri? I've lost the lids. Yeah, of course it is. Garnish, how you see fit. Cheers, Gordon. God damn, that's delicious. God damn, that's lovely. Oh my God, that is absolutely lovely. <laughs> um, how can I give feedback on that? Hit, right, because it's not, a, so daiquiri wise, if we're relating it to a daiquiri, yes, it's light, yes, it's crisp. It's got the pineapple juice that makes it a little bit heavier, which takes it away from that daiquiri territory. Um, but it's, it's, it's got that, because of the lime juice, it's got the brightness to it. What I, right, be, my head is instantly trying to take this cocktail in a different direction. As a daiquiri, it's lovely. Not what I personally want from a daiquiri, but as a cocktail, that is absolutely delicious. Now, here's my thing, because as a cocktail, I've got a sneaky suspicion, Gordon, back me, look, put me, go into the comments. I've got a sneaky suspicion you might have gone Jamaican rum in this for your blended rum, blended aged rum. I think that, I, I think a more, I, basically, I love the pineapple vibes. I'm not convinced that does anything for me in this, in this cocktail. And I'm instantly just wanting a little bit more oomph. So maybe Demerara rum, maybe Jamaican rum, because I, it's, it's hard to explain. It's a daiquiri, it's light, clean, crisp. It's bright, it's just a little bit heavier. That doesn't make sense, does it? it? It's still got the lightness, but it's a little bit heavier than what I want for a daiquiri. But it's a cocktail, you, you could serve that up over ice. I, I think, I genuinely think with a little bit of, maybe Smith & Cross, maybe up in the pineapple rum to, what was that, one and a half ounces, so 45 mil, and instead of, so instead of 30, 30, maybe 45 and 15 of Smith and Cross or something like that. And you've got a flipping delicious kind of pineapple-y cocktail that you can put. Oh. That's absolutely delicious. I'm over complicating stuff. Gordon, thank you so much for sending that through. That's, uh, is a daiquiri, um, probably a seven out of 10 as a daiquiri, as a cocktail that I would come back to and make again, strong nine, 9.2, 9.3. I'm really interested to play about with that second rum in there now, really interested. I'm, I'm going a little bit. I've got another rum in mind, but I can't mention it yet because it actually hasn't released and I've had it it's killing me. I've had it for about two months. Sitting up there, I know it's going to be fantastic and I know it's going to suit you, Gordon, down to a T because it's from your neck of the woods. 
but I can't use it yet because it's not dropped. It's not dropped in the UK. I've got another month to wait, but it's fantastic. And every shade of me wants to put that in this cocktail because it's going to be delicious. So that's that. Cheers, Gordon. Thank you very much. Remember, if you've got a daiquiri suggestion, whack it in. There's a little link in the first comment, pinned comment. Let me know. Cheers. Slightly longer than usual, but worth it.